sorry. Like, I hate having to do that, but I was just like. No, no, no. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. It sucks because I can't even pause on this. Like, I can't. Um... Yeah, you can't pause, but I know it was 30, about 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wrote like, down the 30 time. minutes in. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Okay. Then let's get back in. All right. So what was your thoughts on the very first, first, let me not first episodes, episodes four and five. Okay. Hold that thought. Bag in the refrigerator. <laughs> My home gonna make some greens, so I was sharing. Uh, okay, P Valley. Okay. Um. Okay. We were talking about the last time. I was asking you, did you feel like homeboy Big Teak? Like, uh, if he had had some sort of interaction, relation, feeling right. toward you know Lil Marta, right? Right. So. I feel like I was, I'm not really sure if you was really rocking with me on that, like 110%. No, I, I think that's the first time they had sex. I think they liked each other. I don't think that's, I think that's the first time they had sex. Well, that's what I was saying. So like, I felt like well, by this time when we last talked about it, that was like mm -hmm. several episodes ago. People, people were asking, are you, when we were talking about they lovers in jail, I don't think they were lovers in jail. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think they, I, but I felt like there was definitely, but at <sighs> But to me, okay, it felt so like Little Murder thing, gave him though. like some pity dick, though, if that makes sense. No, but here's the thing. Now I'm thinking they might have been lovers in jail. No, because remember, he said they were, uh, they got pulled away from each other for a long time. And he got out while he was still locked in. Exactly, exactly. But what I'm saying is, it's like how the interaction was. Like, first it was this, we, we on the steps. Then, then when it happens after, you know, murders writing his verse, when, when we get the sex scene, I feel like for how, how he came at him about who was Clifford, like you never wrote me letters. You never sent me a postcard. Well, right. I this is like, think about it. You got to think about I, the same no, no, situation. No, it, it, so you think that, so you think that it was just like, okay, they might've had feelings for each other. Yep. And then and it came then, out then. Yes. And then it's like if something happens with, between a, a man and a woman and they mess around and then you find out he is like y'all been digging each other. You find out he got another chick. Like, Dang, you didn't do all that for me. Like, and I really liked you. I've been digging you. I've been pouring my feelings out to you. But it was the first time we actually had, you know, you know, intercourse or sex. Because it felt like to me, the only reason he had sex with it because he needed it almost. It was like a thing where like somebody has sex with somebody because they needed it. I guess, but I just felt like how he came at him about the Clifford thing. Right, because his feelings was hurt. I'm talking about young murderous thoughts but towards I, him. But I but I would you would think that and I guess that big first of all, how you get out of jail and you on the road. That's luck. Who I mean, who all the time cats. But here's but here's here's like you you need somebody like that that's just happy to be out and they'll do anything. Those are the kind of dudes you have on your security. That's what he said. We need to pick up security. Right. But what I'm saying is, which which could be a good and bad thing, by the way, but what I'm saying is, it's like, what's strange to me is, is that for his feelings to be hurt, why is you still around? I might like people... Don't act like people do that all the time in real life. No, I mean, it's a, but, but men, y'all not supposed to have emotions. Y'all supposed to... You know, that'd be the stereotype. Right. But he I, needs the job. Saying. He pro probably, number one, he needs a job because he's out on jail. So they probably got his paperwork tied up in it saying that he has an actual job. He ain't got, where else he gonna go? So I might as well roll with this for right now. I guess, I guess you're right. But that's, I just, for me, I feel like being that blindsided because I feel like Big T probably felt like he was like a little caught off and guard and blindsided by the postcard situation and i i don't know i guess it's just me though i'm an aquarius i'm cold at times i would just leave <laughs> i'm uh, like I oh, yeah, so gonna, before y'all hit the next city y'all gotta take me back home or buy me a flight or, or something because i'm not i'm not sticking around for this but i get it that also will remove from the storyline but yeah but it, it was, it's just weird to, it, it's just, it was leading up to it. 
And I just, like, like I said, I just, I don't know. Big T is in love with Lil Marta. Yeah. Like, and it's, and it's also unfortunate that we live in a society where people can't understand that and are ranting and, and saying that they're no longer going to watch P Valley because of this. And um, you had a, a great, uh, great girl on girl scene before that. So you should, you should have been. You should have known it was going to happen. You knew it was happening, Pete. Okay, in the words of Quinta, niggas be gay. Yeah, niggas be gay, and it really is just that simple. And you know what? You don't have like, to. Look, look, her, I'm not going to front. It wasn't not like it wasn't uncomfortable for me to watch. I'm not going to yeah, sit here I mean, and I say that. But at the same time, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but but okay. So may I? Maya, ask you what made it uncomfortable to watch? It's just because this is like, because it's just, it's not something I, I'm a be, I'm an old, ignorant man. It's a certain extent, too, though, that I'm just not used to that seeing that, period, mm. in general. So, how did you feel when you saw Mercedes and the wife? I mean, I watched, I watched a whole bunch of porn with that. So, that was nothing to me. That was, I was playing, I was playing, uh, uh, doing some editing on my phone. At the same time, while that was going on, <laughs> I well, that's just the you know that's unfortunate, but that's just the reality. And I think that, and I'm not saying that oh everybody you have to accept it, you have to like it, you have to watch it. But I mean, it, there should be no think pieces, think tweets. It's just like either watch the show or or or, or don't. But it's a, at the same time, it's brilliant. It's brilliant that they did that because everybody's talking about it. Everybody yeah. like you know you mad about it? Great. More people gonna be end up watching because they're gonna be like, why do the people hate it so much? Let me check it out. Yeah, and like I said, niggas just be gay, and it, and it's just like that's the reality. So it's like they never watched queer I, ass we, folk then. Uh, uh, huh? uh, they, they never watched queer ass folk then if they thought that was bad. Yeah, probably not. I remember I watched that. It was like the first time I ever seen a homosexual male scene. We had to watch that TV show from my in my uh, 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 his, uh, cultural class in college. And I was like, and, they, and everybody, every man was like, oh, this is like 2001, 2002. So everybody's like, oh, what? Like, we just was like, like clutching pearls all over the classroom. Like, yo, because that was not something we had seen before. That's how the patriarchy set it up. Yeah. yeah. You know, and it's just very unfortunate because it's just like, just like nobody you know, only thing we talked about with the scene with Mercedes is just like you you saw the tweets about, oh, the wife has nice, supple breasts where it's men that were, I mean, it's called Pussy Valley. So, yeah, niggas is watching it because you know you're going to see ass and titties. And then, but there's this other, you know, like plot, you know, theme that's happening, you know, within the show. Uncle Clifford is gay. We know little Marta is gay. So did y'all not think that that would ever come up? Like, didn't didn't little Marta give Uncle yeah a, Uncle Clifford a blowjob in the first season? No, 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 no. Uncle Clifford got a blowjob from the dude for his birthday. For his birthday, but I, something happened between Clifford and little no, Marta. I, mean, I don't think he gave him a blowjob. No, no, they fucked in that car. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. But I, I don't know. No, but I don't. Th I think. The thing about Little Murder is, I think he's like the stereotypical super top. Oh, he a trade. He well, he's what we call the trade. He's trade. Oh, okay. Explain so trade, trade for people that may not know, because okay, I so just trade had to learn is, like, a few, like a few months ago. Okay, so trade is a person that's kind of more masculine, facing kind of like a what we would say like a yeah, more masculine facing hood type person. Mm -hmm. But behind closed doors, they it's like they live a double life. And so they are gay. <laughs> so you would never know meeting Lil Murder that Lil Murder was gay. Like there's nothing about him that presents gay to you at all. Mm -hmm. And then, but he's gay. So that's the easiest way that I could describe trade. Or would you like the Webster's Dictionary of Trade? No, 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 no. no. I mean, I think that'd be... <laughs> It'll say uh, uh, sending goods back and forth between uh, various <laughs> places. And I mean, that's technically what they're doing. <laughs> oh, <shoot. laughs> so, no, uh, 
No, so let, let's talk about this last ep- – well, I, I, before we even leave off episode um, four and five, because five is it was, it was really – four, I, regardless of all the drama, all the great – the things that was going on going around there, I think four was one of the worst episodes written-wise of the season. Really? Yeah. Just because it was going, it was too, it's too much going on that episode four. You got stuff going on here. You got the mystical stuff. You got this. You got Mercedes. You got this. There was like no like thread of a storyline that you could attach to where you're like, all right, this is what I'm supposed to be watching and going through. You got the I dude think, running for I mayor. Think, like it's I, like doing too much. Episode four was yes. Episode four was all over the place, and I think that. I'm surprised that that even got shot. Just having friends um, in that in the business, the writing business, and going back with the notes, and it kind of almost I felt like honestly the first couple of episodes, the season kind of have been feeling like filler episodes. Yeah, no, all of it's been kind of just writing, just random writing. And I and I think that they probably are trying to, you know, we got we got. P Valley at the top of the pandemic. So I felt like it's them probably trying to force maybe an additional season. Cause technically, you know, without that, the pandemic, they technically would probably be like on season three. Mm-hmm. So it's like they're trying to put two seasons into one. Cause they might've had two seasons written. You think in like where it was, some of this stuff has been kind of pressed in together. Yeah, absolutely. Um, And I think that, that that's where the hang up is where people have been getting lost whereas in the first season it might be an episode where it might be Mercedes and her mama and you might get something with Uncle Clifford mm-hmm. and then it's another episode where it focuses on Autumn and Mississippi um, so I think that is because it's been so much happening or even, even I feel like in the, in the, in the first season, they will have episodes. It will be autumn and, and the, 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 the lawyer guy. Mm-hmm. So it's two characters that it's focusing on, but it's just like solely their story. And, um, I hope that that gets better for season three, but season episode five felt very, natural very organic and it was it was very focused very focused and i think that's why a lot of people were very receptive to it and that's why i immediately hit you up after the episode and was like oh my god like we have to talk about this we have to break it down and just it's just shitty let's talk about it let's go into it let's go episode five let's go you start you start What's your take? Um, it was interesting how they kind of set it up like uh, 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 Cinderella. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like a like a like a hood Cinderella kind of feel. Um, um, but it's interesting. Uh, Clifford narrating it was dope. Um, loved it, loved it. It was dope because it gave you a little bit more context to things. It's just like when you hear a narrator in a, a real any other novel or any other thing where you're like you get. It's just a little bit of extra glaze on the story because you get like small little context to certain things. Like one that he said that made me start thinking about Mississippi was saying that everyone tries to come rescue her. Like that's her and whole he, MO. He, yep. And 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 he even said himself that he that's what he wanted to do was save her. Yes. And you gotta think about it. What uh what's our homeboy? Uh the one that's uh the uh the diamond what, diamond. Even even the even her uh dude that he it's was the white a savior, savior complex. So she thought because there was this white boy, we 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 see it all the time in America every day. It's the white savior complex, whether it comes from a white male or a white female. And she knew just because her home life was so shitty. And I'm not gonna say that she necessarily trapped dude or anything like that. I don't necessarily think that was her MO. Um but they both came from money, mm-hmm. you know. So I, I just I believe that what's interesting what happens with um, Mississippi is it's just that she 
lacks confidence and self-esteem, um, which is, is a reoccurring theme sometimes in our community, not always, but it's a reoccurring theme sometimes when we see women that kind of fall on hard times like her. And so you're looking for something else to complete you and to fulfill you. A lot of times it's, it's going to be a nigga that's, or, or a person that's just not going to treat you as well. And you have a kid with this person and you believe having this kid will fill this void that has been missing your entire life. And, and we see, we didn't, you know, it was interesting seeing like, you know, we always talk about people, oh, they come from a good upbringing, like how Nunu is, you know, mm-hmm. for example, um, but at least Nunu, 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 she's talking about from ATL. Just because yeah. people might think it's somebody we know personally, like you know, oh, oh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. You know, I, I figured at this point, everybody on that list. No, I just always, I just always assume that you know some people don't know. Um, where it's the same thing, like you come from this great upbringing, but then all of a sudden, like like how how Nunu idolized being like ghetto and, and and real, and that that equated to being real, and they just be like niggas be struggling, we be looking for ways out, and then to see that. It's kind of almost like Mississippi, Keyshawn, like, it's like a fall from grace. You know, she already had this shitty situation. Her dad was in and out, moving around, and not being um, hands-on, at least when it came to her parent, because he was definitely hands-on with one of them other sisters, if anybody peeped that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, which, I'm like, well, what the fuck is happening there? And then... um, it's like, well, what was the relationship with the relationship with your mother really like where you couldn't even really go? Why can't you just stay with her? Stay with her. Is it a situation like Mercedes where it's like, OK, I'm not I was prepared. I, I, you know, financially, I really can't care for you. So it's better if you do go with your dad, blah, blah, blah. But I don't think it was necessarily like that because the, the stepmom met the dad on the flight. Why right, she was a flight attendant. Yeah, she was a flight attendant, but the mom was there. She gave her a drink first. Remember, that's what, what, yes. the, uh, what Sippy said. Yeah. Yes, and so it's just interesting. I, I, you know, it's just, it's just very sad when you have to go searching for things because sometimes when you go searching, you run into trouble. Yeah. And that has that has that is what happened pretty much, and you're not ready to leave this emotionally abusive relationship. I I feel like there's there's yes you are right that nine out of ten times that i think mississippi might end up back at the pink or what's gonna happen is wody is gonna be the uh the savior it won't be right, 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 right. But we already see that he already they already set that up because she got saved with three times. She's been saved three or four different times. You know, Clifford said he saved her. Uh, Diamond, Wody, even even uh, what, uh, you know, I'm just gonna call him uh, Abercrombie and Fitch, Abercrombie and Fitch, um, him too. So you got to say them four people. But did he really? Know, but did Abercrombie and Fitch really save her? But I'm, it, but or did in he her, just I'm just fuck her. But he, in her eyes, he did, he did save her because she wouldn't get no play for nobody. Everybody looked at her dark-skinned girl. She, he defended her. You know what I'm saying? She like all these it, things that outwardly that, feel like that. Yeah, I, I guess technically you felt like when, she, when he beat that dude ass, technically. Yep. But I would say that I think that it would be something different. I feel like after the whole situation happens with um Bodie coming in to save her, you know, take care of the situation for her with the manager. I feel like there's a, a something that happens. And I think this time when she got her ass, like when she I'm not gonna say her ass beat when the guy beat her, when her husband, boyfriend beat her, it was different. It was something different this time. Like I felt like there was something a little different, and I feel like they setting it up for something to either develop where homeboy really gets her out out he's gonna she's gonna see him if something is going to happen 
and and that and, and I think that's going to be the turning point for her. But I think, like I said, it's just like you said. I think it's interesting how they set it up the whole Cinderella theme, and it's just like who is going to be her prince charming? Like that would be the next step. But the thing is, I, I hope they have it where she figures out she got to do that shit for herself. She might. And maybe won't even true. say that to you. Like, I got you out of this, but you got to do this shit for yourself. Maybe, maybe not. Because yeah. that's not how Cinderella ends. Part of it is like, and, and that sucks, but it's just, you would, one would hope that she would figure it out and just... But a lot of but a lot of people get off on being the victim. We, we live yeah. in this state with this world where some people they they know that the it's hard. I want to be safe. I'm just saying, <laughs> I want to be safe from these bills. Yeah. That's all, y'all. I don't ask for. I just want to be safe from these bills. Somebody look at you, everybody. You can get your captain on and go ahead and put your cape on and hit up Dom in our DMs. Um, Pay my rent. Know. We, I ain't asking for much. No, we ain't falling in love. We ain't fucking just pay the rent. Send me the cash at. Damn. That's just, that's just plain and simple. Damn. <laughs> no, that's funny. Somebody, somebody texted me the other night from a random number. And, and, it, and what made me believe that it wasn't spam was the hour of, like, it was later in the evening. Like, when I say it was, like, go, going on, like, 9 o'clock, I feel like. And it was... No, they could call, technically call you or text you technically up till 9 o'clock. It was uh, weird. Uh, um, the spammers can. Um, really? Yeah, they, that's the federal law is, like, 9 o'clock. It's technically the time. They can't call that is, that is Now, that the is. fucked up things, I had I had a a, 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 a a spam person call me at 5 in the morning. Oh, shit. No. It said... David, what do you think about tomorrow's partner meeting? So, uh, and it was at 8.50 p.m. And I was like, oh, wrong number. Oh, no, he sent the wrong. He was trying to text somebody else. Yeah, that's and that's what I was saying. I didn't think it was spam. And so he said, I'm sorry, maybe uh, my secretary saved David's number wrong. Do you feel bothered? And I was like, okay. So oh, I said, no, you know what? I got one of them too. Hold I on, said, no bullshit. If you not paying any bills, I'm bothered. Now have your secretary locate David's numbers since y'all have a partner meeting today. I said, "Good day, sir." And he said, "Although we uh, added the wrong number, maybe we are destined to be friends. Uh, have a nice day." But it, it wasn't. Where are you from? Like he's so hold on. Me. A similar thing. No, hold on. So mine goes hi. I say, "Who this?" Hi, is that Linda? This is Unity, just my new number. No, not Linda. Sorry, I think my assistant Lisa saved the wrong number. I hope it, I didn't bother you. Weird. I didn't respond after that. Look, I said, look, my petty ass was like... <laughs> you had time right then, huh? I said, we, you added the wrong number. I'm from, uh, I'm from Bank of America. Cash at me. Spend a couple thousands on my titties and my ass cheeks. But they and respond? they didn't respond. They didn't respond. I got I got a spam today. Someone texts me acting like they were the CEO for my company. So I take I hit him on Slack like, "Yo, did you hit me up?" He was like, "Dude, I would have hit you on Slack real quick." He I was like, "I know." I, I sent a screenshot. He was like, "He's like, dude, put this in the company chat. This is hilarious." So they hit me up like, "Hey, Daryl, everything all good?" And then they put the C. I don't want to put his name, the CEO name up under like he like his full name like. And I'm like, huh? It caught me up. I was like, he ain't from he ain't from California though. Mm. And then I hit him, and then that's when I figured out it was a spam. So they trying to get creative now. They are, and because every other, I feel like every other week, our company, like IT, is sending out an email about somebody's information being hacked or don't respond to email sent from such and such so this is just getting out of control and i'm just frustrated and over it i'm well, no so let's get right it. back though so what do you think about the creation color complex thing though oh um that is normal that is that is a reoccurring theme in our community and a, a lot of cultures i feel like people feel like that's something that I'm stuck on and I'm like it's not that I'm stuck on it it's just 
it's just the inequality. Like when you think about like, you know, the history of even some of our sororities and fraternity, like how, how that even came about, like, it's just fucked up. Like, yeah. you know, the brown paper bag test. And so being, seeing that, and, and it's just even to me, uh, Keyshawn, Creshawn, whatever her name is, Mississippi ain't even that dark. Like, I feel not, like that's the like, thing that trips me out. But you'd be surprised. I've had a lot of men tell me that I was dark, that, that I was too dark for them to date. Wow. And I'm just like, man, you a corny, like, ass nigga anyway. Like, <laughs> you're broke. <laughs> like, e even in my adult years, like, I've had men say that to me. And so I'm like, wow, like you really hate your mom. That's that's my favorite response to everything. You really, really hate your mom. And I remember there was a conversation where this came up on Clubhouse and there was a guy like talking about that, talking about his beautiful mixed kid and well, light skinned kid because the kid was light skinned. And I was like, damn, like, so what does your mother say? And he was like, well, she was the one that told me to do this. And I was like, well, what does she look like? You know, maybe she hates herself, which is why she perpetuated this stereotype and pushed this on you that you had to date a certain way. You had to procreate with a certain type of, it's a lot of people I know to this day that are, that think like that. No, it's, I mean. And it's just really unfortunate and sad. And you caught up in a, a fucked up ass situation because some white boy paid you some attention. Yeah, it's it's a deep thing because it's like, because she really is about hair. And mm -hmm. remember she said something about like, was it was it, she said that my daughter's hair won't have to be worried about that or something like that with mm -hmm. her with her with her daughter. So it's a it's a thing thing for her, you know. And then it, it's, it's interesting. A lot like, of people is it, it comes up a, a lot. Like I said, like I people also forget that biracial kids. That doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna get like yeah oh, no, no, no 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 hair like I know people a lot have got of hair worse than ours and uh, uh I'm, I'm gonna say worse because worse is not a, but I'm saying more coarse than yeah. ours and they're yeah. about right. I, I yeah I my hair not coarse uh, <laughs> right but I mean, you, you get my point I know though, what like you're it. saying I know what you're saying yeah um but you know everybody yeah, ain't I, coming out looking like Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> or Adrian. Wait, Adrian. They don't come out the box like Rachel, that. That, 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 that. That's not. That's not. That's not a, a scratch of a mixed person and, 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 and throw them out. You know. Yeah. No. And, and 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 that's the thing. It's just like a lot of people. Black people. We got so much work to do, Daryl. We just got yeah. so much work to do. But it's ill because it's not just black people like that, though. The white people and patriarch. The white supremacy. It's, 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 it's an Indian oh, it's, culture. It's an every, Asian, regular Asian, far East Asian culture. Yep. It's in, obviously, you know, in Africa. I mean, you got girls bleaching and things. Like, have you watched that show on... Um, yep. The one that African, Beauty. like... What is it called? Savage Beauty. No, 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 no. The one where they have, like, it's like the African, like... Like, housewives kind of slash love in Huntsville type of feel. But it's oh, on, I started um, that. I started that. I got it's, on, go it's in South Africa, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And like I the started. main girl on there, I end up researching her. She's bad. You end up finding out she was darker than you, and yeah. she's lighter than me now, and got totally looking different person. Yep. And she even like in the articles and stuff, and like on TV in South Africa, like yeah, I bleach my skin. It's fine. It's all good. Yeah, uh, I think it's illegal now in South Africa, like to sell them products. Yeah, it's like this, so she went out got like surgery and stuff. I mean, Hold look on. at look him. Look him is a prime example of that. You know, like young people, famous, young famous and African is name of the show. Yes, and, and the it, it, his name is Kiani Mbalu. Yeah, yep. I started it, and then um, because the colorism things kind of is an underlining theme on there too mm -hmm. with one of the other chicks. Um, that come up on Love and Hip Hop. Um, uh, Love and No. 
basketball wives with the Nigerian girl, and she felt like um, Evelyn and the other ladies, you know, were kind of uh, colorist. So yeah, I'm. A, it's it's a rec- but I, it's just the issue across the board, and it. it like I, I, don't, I ain't even gonna stay. I ain't gonna stay here long on that topic. <laughs> no, no, right. we don't. We don't. We don't have to stay. Uh-uh. Long. No, so that that's our review of P Valley. P Valley uh, needs to stay on, please, Katori Hall. I hope this is a first of like kind of many episodes like this where we not popping around to five different characters. This is not the soap operas. And, and, and I don't want, the, I don't want Lovecraft country. I mean, we, I mean, I, I understand where you're going from and with trying to show the spiritual aspects of black <coughs> Southern culture, especially like the Gulf Gulf area and the Geechee's, but I don't want Lovecraft country. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't do, don't just, I don't want Lovecraft country. I don't want yeah. Lovecraft country in the strip club. I don't want that. Um, Shout out to Roulette though of who I found is from St. Louis. Did you know that? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so cool. I don't want love Lovecraft, Lovecraft in the strip club. Yeah, 